Okay, very controversial pick of book, I know. I've heard what this book is about and a trigger warning for you guys, there is domestic violence discussed in this book. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna discuss it, but this is the movie cover of It Ends With Us. And if you guys are new here, my name's Steph. Hi, I'm The Average Artist. And I paint over movie book covers. And uh, this one is not too bad. I don't mind it because it has Blake Lively on it. She's beautiful, we all know that. But but uh, she's had a bit of controversial press recently, which is surprising because of how she's been advertising this movie. But I actually don't think we need to like attack her. So let's just leave Blake alone, guys. Come on. Anyway, so this book, I decided it was so controversial that I wanted to read it for myself. So I'm gonna discuss it as I do the book cover paint over and you will see my thoughts. But here we go, let's start. Okay, I've done my usual routine of putting paper underneath and then putting washi tape along the cover's side because I don't usually paint the book spine. Because I think like it would just crack as well if you ever were to open it. Um, usually I don't tend to reread the books once I've painted them. It's just because I think they're quite fragile. If you want to do this at home, make sure that you don't do it on a book that you want to reread a lot. Because I think it can be, it can crumble off sometimes. But anyway, I've got a little bit of sandpaper here. So this is the part which is a little bit painful, but we're going to scratch off this soft surface. To be honest, there's no shiny bits, which is usually the bane of my existence for books. Of course, if you don't want to do this process, you could always make a dust cover jacket to go over your book, which could be kind of cool as well. Haven't done this before, but I think I'm just going to clean a little bit of the top with a little bit of alcohol, as in like medical alcohol, just to get the dust away. Because now we've got this surface that's a bit scratchy, but we've also got the dust away, which means that maybe the pen colours will cling a little bit more. I'm going to be using these Artex pens that I got recently, acrylic markers. I've got a video that I put up last week if you guys want to watch that, but I'm going to be using these pens to cover the book. That comes with a caveat of make sure if you use alcohol, I mean acrylic markers on the book, to make sure you do a varnish over the top or like modge podge underneath to help protect because eventually I found that when I used Posca pens, sometimes they would crack a little bit. So you've got to be really careful. I'm still constantly learning which tools to use and I haven't used uh, acrylic markers for a long time on a book. So let's see how it goes, basically. Fingers crossed for me. And basically, I feel like this cover represents the character because the character is called Lily Bloom, okay? And her passion is flowers, growing things. And I think, I think the character of Lily Bloom is actually lovely and sweet and she has obviously these things happen to her and are awful within the context of the book, within any context, sorry. Did I like the book? That's a question that I should answer. I did it. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but Gigi literally just whacked me with the camera. So that wasn't very nice, to be honest. He pushed the tripod. Wait, biting as well? Honestly, what have I done to you? Except tell you not to hit me with the guy. What's up with you? He knows I'm trying to push him away, that's why. D don't bite, that's naughty. Don't bite, you know you don't bite. Don't do that. It's nice, boy. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying about the book. Surprisingly, to my surprise, because there was so much going on about this book that I was like, Ugh, I have to read it to make my own opinion. Because so many people are just hating on it um, for certain reasons that might be justified. But I thought I'm going to read it for my own opinion and then I can comment. But I can't actually comment on obviously the awful things that happen in the book because they're not really my story to tell. Uh, I don't have experience with it. So it's a little bit of a gray area, isn't it? Whereas I think the author, she does stipulate that she has had experiences with this. So I think 
she might have put a little bit of her story within this book, which makes me feel a little bit sad for her. And yeah, I don't know if this book deserves as much hate as it gets. Characters in the book, I really liked the main character. I thought she was very sweet. I thought she was quite real as well. I don't know, I quite enjoyed, cause there's, she writes a diary in her teen years. So it kind of flashes back to her life now and her life when she was a teenager and it goes back to her diaries as a teenager and I really liked reading those parts. Obviously some parts not so nice because it does deal with the domestic violence that her father causes within her family, but it read to me like a teenager writing a diary and I thought it was quite sweet. It's hard to express my feelings on this book because I didn't think it was as terrible as everyone made out. I kind of enjoyed it, to be honest with you. The story, at the heart of it, even though it's weird to say, it is a romance. Not with the person who inflicts the domestic violence on our main character, but with someone else. So it is, at its core, a romance with these horrible things that happen to this character. And I think I really like to touch on the, the point that just because terrible things happen to someone, that doesn't mean that's all they are and that's all they'll ever be and they're not gonna be a victim forever. And I kind of got that vibe with this book that, okay, yes, there's domestic violence in it and there is romance in it as well, but that's because that's kind of what we would hope would happen, that someone would find eventually love that could help them, I don't know, or just find themselves better in a better situation. I did enjoy the book. It was an easy read, um, except for the parts that were obviously quite heavy and not very, not very enjoyable to read, made me cringe a lot. Um, I don't think, I think the author could have pushed it further, to be honest, than they did. And also I think they could have, when these moments did happen, I think they were pretty much, and then this happened and we'll talk about it a little bit, but we won't really delve too deeply. And I think, I think they could have gone a little bit too, a little bit deeper, but I think, um, Maybe that's asking too much from the author. It was a simple read, to be honest. The language, everything. That's why it was just an easy read. I read it in a couple of days. It was quick, so I don't know. I, I didn't hate it. I thought I was gonna read it. I started reading it, you know, with that kind of scoffing attitude, like, what is this? Uh, this language, and, and I hate that I approached it that way because I think reading is reading, and if, if she's popular and people are reading, that's a good thing. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a difficult one because it's such a controversial topic, and I'm sure a few of you will feel very differently to me but that's fine because that's that's what books are they're polarizing no matter what they are they're polarizing so i think this book is not terrible it's not the best book i've ever read but it's not the worst also i'm sorry if you can hear my kittens playing in the background you probably can um you're probably like what is that noise but i know there's a lot of controversy controversy going around about Blake Lively as well, as I mentioned before, about how she's choosing to pro pro produce, I guess, or advertise this movie. And I really don't think she's doing anything wrong because I think she's kind of giving the sense of this character, Lily Bloom, who is, loves flowers, she loves florals, she's, that's like her personality. She's a happy-go-lucky person. And I think beyond the horrific things that happened to her, she's strong enough to pull through and be that way. And I really think that Blake's just trying to indicate that side of Lily Bloom, who she plays. So I don't know, I haven't seen the film yet. It might be horrifically bad. It might not be what we want at all, but I just, I don't think we need to attack women in this instance. I just don't think we need to do it. Let's just all calm down and take a breather. And if it bothers you, just don't watch it. Don't look at her. Like She's just a person. If she says something negative. I'm sure we all have bad days. I'm sure I've said something negative to the wrong person at the wrong time. I'm sure you have too. So I think we should just leave people alone a little bit sometimes, unless they're like Elon Musk or something, then we can bully them. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure she's fine. She's very rich, very pretty, 
the has a wonderful family. I'm sure she's she's fine. Let's talk about what I'm actually doing for the book cover. So you may notice that I'm completely drenching this in this blue light and leaving just a little square open. Now without revealing too much of what happens in the book in case you want to read it, there is a moment where a character sees another character and watches them nicely. It's a, it's a nice scene, it sounds a bit dark now saying it, and watches them through the window or sees them through the window and feels hope. So that is what I'm going to try and convey here. So I want to draw this blue light indicating it's night time. And then I'm going to draw Lily Bloom inside her room doing something. I think I made this window too big. So I'm going to change it to be this size instead. And I think what I'm going to do is use a darker color. I don't know. Maybe it can indicate the, just using a template because I think it will give me a straighter line than what I've done here. And then I just wanted like an orange glow. And also I really like it when book covers have a little nod to something that may happen in the book, but it's still generic enough that people wouldn't understand it until they've read the book. So it's quite nice. I really like this moment in the book where this scene is described. I think it's sweet. I do like the characters in this book. Um, obviously there's some pro problematic things, but then I also think like sometimes people read books and they want the characters to have the moral standing or the same attitudes that they would have at the same time. But characters don't necessarily act like that. They also don't necessarily act within the will of what the author wants. The, the characters might be doing something completely different to what the, the author would deem acceptable. So I, I find it odd, odd when people act like that. They're like, oh, I would never do this. So, but that doesn't mean this, this person in this book wouldn't, you know, it's, it's strange. So sometimes you just gotta be like, that's what the character does and you've got to accept it because they're not you and they don't have the same morals, they don't have the same brain as you. And also don't blame the author that these awful men exist because he's writing a character, it's not what she... But yeah, I, I'm intrigued to see the film. I probably won't go to the cinema though to see it. I'll probably wait till it's out on streaming just because I'm not really that bothered. I wasn't really that bothered to read this book but then I started reading it and it did hook me, the characters hooked me. I wanted to see where it was going. And yeah, I probably enjoyed it more than I thought I would because I've always kind of scoffed at Colleen Hoover, which is wrong. I know you shouldn't be a book snob, but I am a little bit of a book snob. And I don't know why I am because I don't know who I think I am, but you know, <laughs> uh, I am a little bit. And sometimes you just gotta let that go and enjoy the story. There were some cheesy moments in this that I was like, rolled my eyes a little bit, but overall it was okay. Like it was entertaining. It was, I mean, it shouldn't, should domestic violence stories be entertaining you say? I don't know. I don't know if that's my right to say or not, but it was a good story. And I think as well, the author has drawn from her own experiences. So I think we need to, respect that a little bit. I don't know much about the author. Um, I don't know if she has any controversies herself. Probably she does, because who doesn't these days? But yeah, this is how far we've gotten. We've gotten a blue base and an orange window. I think I made a mistake here. And what I want to do is, instead of this being black, I want it to be, I want the shadows of the trees to be black only. And I think that will be more impactful. So just gonna go over where I've drawn the black here. And, and I think this is what's bothering me about it actually. Let's see if it works out. Also just want to go over all this background with the blue because I think it looked a bit odd with the different colors. I think I want a very bold 
striking cover where it's just super simplistic and and plain i guess but yeah just going over all this kind of texture that i've made these different gradients because i think i just think it has more of an impact on the viewer and in the end i'm glad i went over this with black and sort of left the outlines in this purple shadow because i think it conveys the shadow of the the trees more and yeah that's basically it that's the final look it's a little bit wet but i'm gonna take it off the paper anyway i'm too lazy to wait for it to dry too impatient watch me <laughs> ruin it now but <laughs> anyway let's see uh this is how it's looking and i think it turned out good i really am glad that i stuck with the one color because i think it's more it lends itself to a muted kind of vibe but i don't know if it's going more young adult with this kind of cartoonish vibe or like too romancy like um the that that trend now with romance books but i do like it i've gone back in afterwards and i've done a bit a few more details and i think it works a little bit better now but let's see i don't know what do you guys think and have you read this book what are your thoughts on this book i'd be really interested to know and that's it thank you so much for watching till the end if you made it this far please give me a like or a subscribe if you're not subscribed that really helps me out and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.